When asked about his time in the Marine section, Mr Phillips said ultimately instructions were to stop them coming in, in reference to suspect ribs. He said there was no oversight from commanding officers with regard to operations and that if you provided results, that's all they were interested in. When asked if high-speed pursuits had been allowed, he replied, that was the job. However, he said there was no specific training for high-speed pursuits with recruits effectively learning on the job. Throughout the inquest, the question of the RGP vessel's navigation equipment has been discussed at length, with the coxswain on the night of the collision saying he had switched off the chart plotter to avoid it affecting his night vision. His second-in-command that night said he had not questioned this decision. Mr Phillips described himself as over-the-top with preparation regarding onboard navigation devices, describing the sea as a hostile environment and saying it would be unwise to remove any of them. The chart plotter was described as having two functions to dim its display in order to avoid affecting a coxswain's vision. DC David O'Flaherty of the RGP also gave evidence. He was called to the pontoon as the customs vessel bringing the Spanish men arrived in Gibraltar. He told the court that upon arrival, one of the men on board told him this incident had happened off Alcaidesa and that he had asked the RGP vessel to put its lights on and get his uncle to the hospital. He reported the man said the RGP vessel did not put its lights on and towed them at five knots. The RGP vessel took 50 minutes to return, by which time the man's uncle had died. Three customs officers aboard the vessel which responded to the RGP's call also gave evidence today. One officer said one of the RIB's crew had said this had been an accident, nobody wanted them to be killed. When asked if the man had also said that they were rammed by the RGP, the customs officer said he did not recall. A second customs officer said at no time did the members of the RIB's crew say it was an accident or nobody's fault, but neither did he recall anyone saying that the RGP had intentionally rammed the RIB.